I'm going to be showing you how to use the uh, co-writer tool. If you have a, an APS, uh, you know, supplied Chromebook, then this is already inside of your Google Chrome. If you are using your home computer or a home laptop, you might need in Chrome to go to the uh, Chrome um, extension store, or whatever the heck it's called, and download what is called, again, CoWriter. But this is a really great way to be able to write things down. So once it's uploaded, you come up here, and sometimes it won't be here. If it's not there, you have to go to the stoplight, more tools, and then to extensions. And what that'll do is it will um, open up the extension. You can actually pin things to, um, where is it, where is it, where is it, co-writer. You can actually pin it to be on all the time. Um, and then once you've pinned it, it'll stay up here at all times. So let's go back to the document. Okay, so once it's pinned up here, you click on it, sign in. It'll ask you to sign in with Google to you, and you, of course, will use your uh, Google account that comes through the school. Um, I always use the black background. It's easier on my eyes because uh, I am staring at the screen for about 12 hours a day and about six hours a day on Saturdays and Sundays. So we can just type like normal, okay? Hello, peeps. What's up? Okay. What's up? <laughs> and what that's going to do is just normal, everyday things. This is where it gets pretty cool. Of course, you let it use your microphone. Okay, so it wants us to allow the microphone. So, do, 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 a loud microphone. Okay, site, site, site is allowing Facebook. Okay, da, 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 da. Chromebook. No sites added, allow co-writer. Yes, co-writer, we're in co-writer and microphone allow. Okay, so this should be ready to go. So we come back here. What we can do with this particular application is use it to speak, period. Notice I am using spaces between the voices, period. And it writes for you. Exclamation point. Now, comma, this will take some getting used to, period. You also might have to try to sound like a robot and a guy on the news. for you now this will take some getting used to you also might have to try to sound like a robot and a guy on the news okay it's pretty darn accurate you also might have to try to sound like a robot and a guy on the news so once speaking is is clicked it will keep reading it again and again and again now this could get in the way sometimes well you just got to come up here click on it turn it off temporarily so you can fix things hello peeps what's up what we can do with this particular application is use it to speak. Notice I am using spaces between the voices and it writes for you. Now this will take some getting used to. You also might have to try to sound like a robot and a guy on the news. This is CoWriter. Pretty simple, pretty straightforward. Once it's uploaded, it's a great thing. And once you're using it alongside of, what's this called again? Snap and read, come on, there we go. Once you're using them together, you can listen and you can create work of your own. I do believe, let's see the options for co-writer. Let's see, let's see. What do we have available here? We have particular topics, number of guesses, font size, text color, prediction, voice. OK, 
Okay, speak the letter, speak the words, speak the sentences, speak text. Um, I was hoping that... Oh, transwrite, translate writing into English. You can also click on this. And so it can be Spanish. You can click Spanish and it will translate the writing into English. Okay, and you could speak Spanish or write Spanish and it will translate it into English. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, all excuses and all um, problems have not gone away, but this is going to make our lives a lot easier in producing and receiving work from here forward. Now, uh, you may not have known about this, but now you do. So let's get it done. Good luck to y'all. Talk to you soon.